Welcome back, folks. I'm glad you guys tuned in for episode two of Animating with a Captain. Thank you for watching episode one, where we went over the basics you're going to need to animate and how to make a figure walk. Now, I got a lot of requests to show how to make figures run, and I admit I'm not the greatest at that, but I'm going to give it a try because, you know, a lot of people wanted to see it, and that's kind of the natural progression. I mean, a lot of people call it fast walking. Some people call it slow, non-car driving. I've heard no one call it that, but we're going to go over it. Our subject today I'll introduce in a minute, but first, on top of all the list of basics that I uh, listed last time around, you're going to need a couple different things. We got some thread here, just regular standard string, anything you can get your hands on that you can use to suspend like a figure, and uh, some kind of adhesive. You know, sometimes I use tape to tape people's like feet to the ground, sometimes I'll use like poster tack. Today I'm going to be using the poster tack. Um, any of you ACBA guys might have like wax that left over that you guys use. Just be careful not to put it in like people's like feet when they have like grooves on the bottom of their feet or anything because it'll probably get stuck. So all that said, let's get started. So for today's video we're going to be shooting against a plain white background and I'll be using really dark string. That way as I go through the process you'll be able to see exactly where the string is and get a better understanding of kind of how I'm holding the figure up and whatnot. Obviously, if I'm doing a real animation, like I'm going to edit the string out or I'm going to try and hide it, you know, just stuff like that. But for the purpose of today's video, you're going to see strings, so just disregard them if you're looking for like any kind of professionalism. And uh, today's subject will be a DC Universe Classics Deadshot figure. I like this figure a lot. I got it from a trade uh, a while back, and um, it's just a cool looking figure, and he's got good articulation. If you're familiar with DC Universe, you'll know exactly what kind of articulation to expect. Um, so, I think it'll be interesting trying to get him to uh, run. I've never actually used one of these guys, I don't think, in an animation before, so this will be good. Alright, so uh, I'm going to do things a little differently this time. Um, last time I just posted the camera on top of my other camera while I was taking pictures, I was like guiding you through it. Uh, this time I'm going to take the pictures in advance and then talk about each frame, what I did, and then I'm going to show the succession and like uh, show the final animation. So, let's get started. So I got Deadshot here started in just kind of a standing position. Uh, at the beginning of his run, I'm going to have him kind of lunge forward a little bit. And the first foot that goes forward is obviously going to be the same arm that goes back. They're just like the walking, it's no different than that. Like, obviously, the uh, opposite arm and leg are going to go forward. So if it's his left leg, it's his right arm. But uh, what you're going to notice this time is that the strides are going to be much wider and there's going to be one foot off the ground occasionally. Now, anytime you see a foot off the ground, that usually means that the poster tack is underneath the opposite foot. And when you see string attached to him, I usually have it wrapped around his neck so I can pull straight up. Um, I'm pulling with enough force to keep him upright, but not pull him off of the surface of where I'm animating. So you're going to notice that... Uh, the figure itself is also leaned forward a little bit. That's just to give the illusion of faster movement. Um, if you ever, you know, look at pictures of people running, they tend to be leaning forward a little bit more. But um, anyway, as you see, once he starts making his strides, I got the string attached to him a little bit more. Um, I'm pulling it upright just to make sure he can balance himself a little better. Anyway, once you get your uh, your flow going and you figure out exactly how many frames you want to take in between the strides, um, just keep going. Keep the process going until either he stops running or he's out of the frame. Um, I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to play it back at actual speed and uh, we'll see how it looks. So I don't think it turned out too bad. I can see a little bit of room for improvement and certain just movements between, you know, how the figure just kind of get the flow you know what I'm saying but um obviously same as last time if you want to animate one of your figures running and leave it as a video response I'll definitely check it out comment on it whatever the case is um hopefully we get better together you know uh I've been called out on my running previously it's kind of just looked like fast walking according to WW Extreme 25 YouTube user uh that's not you know, me trying to like slap him in the face or anything like that. He's actually, he critiques me on it. So I looked at it and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I can get better. So I'm just uh, looking to improve as an animator and hopefully um, anybody who animates can pick out their own faults and maybe try and improve on them. Whether you're watching my videos or somebody else's, 
you know, just find something that you aren't happy with and try and step it up a little bit, make yourself better at it. Uh, with that all said, um, I believe I'm going to close here. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial, and let me know again in the comments if you want to see anything else specific. I've got a few requests for, like, some string work and, like, keeping figures in the air, doing, like, either mid-air wrestling moves or, like, flying or, like, just any kind of that kind of stuff. So, um, again, leave a comment, uh, video response if you want to do some animating. Just, uh... Keep it going, man. I'm happy with the progress of my first video, and hopefully we can keep this thing going. All right. Till next time. Take care.